This tutorial will show you how to rent a TeamSpeak 3 server from an authorized TeamSpeak host provider, which is also known as an ATHP or hoster. Before we get started, let's point out a few things. If you're thinking about renting a TeamSpeak server, you should know that only ATHPs are authorized to sell or rent TeamSpeak servers. Typical reasons why people rent servers are to avoid the technical challenges of setting up their own server, such as configuring a firewall or enabling port forwarding. To ensure their server is online 24 hours per day as opposed to leaving their PC on all the time. To receive technical support for TeamSpeak as opposed to relying on one person who may not always be available. To not worry about bandwidth requirements, so for example, Many ISPs will limit your upload bandwidth and hence may prevent you from being able to host more than 5 to 10 users. And finally, to ensure the TeamSpeak server maintains a static IP address. So again, many ISPs are set up to change your IP address from time to time, which means you'll have to give your new IP address to your friends in order to get them to log back into your server. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is open your web browser and go to www.teamspeak.com. Once you're there, on the far left menu, click on the Rent Server link. This will take you to TeamSpeak's official sales and licensing partner website, Triton CI and Associates. And your web browser should then look something similar to this. Notice that the continents in red contain data center locations for ATHPs, whereas the ones in white mean that there are no ATHPs offering service in that region. So if I mouse over North America, for example, I can see that there are currently 45 authorized TeamSpeak host providers offering service in this particular region. So let's suppose I live in California. What I'll do is click on North America. and then USA. Notice there are 22 ATHPs located in California. So I'm going to click on California. And next, a list of ATHPs will be generated at the bottom of this page. For the purpose of this tutorial, company names have been blurred. This list is randomized each time you visit the website or when you click on any red area within the state of California. If you want to get even more specific, I can, for example, mouse over San Jose and further see that there are four hosters offering service specifically in San Jose. If I click on San Jose, I will be shown a list of only those hosters. When shopping for an ATHP, also keep in mind the Headquarters, Hoster Sense, and ATHP Details columns. Knowing the Headquarters can be useful if, for example, you are looking for a hoster that offers technical support in French. The Details link will also pop up a new window with additional details regarding the ATHP. This added info should assist you in making a final decision. So now I'm going to click on the back arrow, which will take me back to the USA map. And one last tip I want to share with you is that when choosing an ATHP, you may want to carefully consider the location of your server. If, for example, your friends are scattered throughout all of North America, a centralized location such as Dallas, Texas may be the best choice. If instead your friends are scattered throughout Canada, the USA, and Europe, then you may want to consider an East Coast location such as New York. Please note that when you decide on the ATHP that's right for you, you will be placing an order for a TeamSpeak 3 server through the ATHP's website, and therefore you will technically become that specific ATHP's customer and be billed by them. The ATHP should provide you with pricing information, special offers or discounts if available, and of course technical support. So please be sure to contact them for these sorts of details. This concludes this video tutorial. Thanks for watching.